Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be doing another unboxing. I picked up another 88 films release for another Jackie Chan movie, this time Police Story 3 Super Cop. I checked out the movie just yesterday and I'm excited to give you guys a quick unboxing of what all is included in this set. So let's get ready to jump in. Welcome once again, my name is Austin, and on this channel we talk about one of my favorite things in the world, movies, and how I tie together my faith with film and everything that's in between. Now, Super Cop is part of the Police Story uh, film series. I have, as you can see behind me, Police Story 1 and 2, that's the Criterion collection of those. That's the only ones that are in like that set there, and then there's a individual release that I do have for... Um, let me see. I do have this Blu-ray also for Police Story 4, technically, and it's kind of an uneven franchise after the third one. Uh, but the third one was one that was kind of hard to get, at least get a good copy of. Uh, it was a little pricey, that kind of thing, but it just came out from 88 Films last week on 4K and on Blu-ray with a really nice box set. So I wanted to break it down and show you what's included in the set. So this is the release itself, comes in a really nice hard cardboard box. Uh, you got the front, the side spine there, um, and then the back cover as well. There's also a J card that was in it that I kind of, you know, trim down like I usually do for J cards, if I can get it out of here. Right there's the J card, so that has kind of like movie information, that kind of thing on it, some details on the behind the scenes features that are included, uh, some screenshots from the movie, a synopsis, you know, all the traditional stuff that's on there, the specs for the movie, that kind of thing. So you got that, that came attached to the back, I just trimmed it down and stuck it inside. Uh, and then you know, can see, I don't remember if I showed here, on this side here you can see the Blu-ray, the booklet that comes with it as well as the double-sided poster so it's very similar as far as what's included to the dragons forever set that i unboxed last week so let's break this one open like i said you can see there really nice cardboard box there let's start with the blu-ray itself so it comes with this as the front cover you have this uh what looks like kind of original artwork from the original release of the film or at least one of them and then on the back similar you got some uh screen shots information about the movie rating time you know all the specs that kind of thing and this is a reversible insert just like the dragons forever one so you have this original insert that came uh, like that and then you got this one here with just more kind of like uh artistic and that's the one i've been using um, i really like the way that looks i'll give you a look at it once i get it reinserted in here these can be a pain to do sometimes so there it is with the other side. I really like that. I figure, you know, with this box right here, you got the name and stuff on the front, so you might as well have something a little more artistic uh, once you get the thing opened up. I think that looks really cool uh, as far as that goes. And then just like with Dragons Forever, really high quality 4K case here. It's really nice, solid plastic, not that recycled flimsy stuff that many Blu-rays come with. Uh, before we get into these art cards, I'll show you. We have the Blu-ray disc and the 4K disc here, again, with some really nice artwork on both of them. That's really nice. So you got your 4K, and then that one's the Blu-ray. And then it comes with art cards as well, uh, just like the Dragons Forever set. So here's one with Michelle Yeoh on the bus there. And then on the back, you got some black and white stuff as well. Here's one with Jackie Chan doing some of his absolutely insane helicopter stunts, as well as another... Um, Black and white one there. Here's one with Michelle Yeoh and another one of the guys in the movie, which I'm not familiar with him, uh, but he seemed like he was probably another popular uh, martial artist action star. Here's another one with Michelle Yeoh. Again, some black and white stuff on the back. Some uh, classic Jackie Chan reaction shots there on that one. Uh, and then one of the training uh, things that Jackie walks in on. Uh, during the film. So again, I'm not a huge art card person just like I said in the Dragons Forever um, one, but it is nice that you know they included something in there and they're cool to look at once in a while. So that's what's included in the case here. And then besides that, you have this booklet here that comes with it as well, just like Dragons Forever. So this is a 75 page booklet. It includes a couple different essays as well as, you know, some pages that just have full spreads of pictures as well. So what's included in this one 
when I get to the table of contents here. So this one includes an essay called Meet the Cop That Can't Be Stopped, an interview with John Wakefield, who was actually one of the guys who was in the movie. I started reading a little bit of the essay just to get a gist of it, uh, but I haven't gotten too far in it yet. He was in the movie as one of like the Interpol agents earlier on uh, and kind of wrote about the experience of the movie and how great it is, that kind of thing. And then we also have teen, Three Nage Kicks, The Joy of Super Cop. So just a really cool look and a breakdown at just the genre filmmaking of action movies and why uh, Super Cop in particular is so special and important to that genre. So all throughout, you got some behind the scenes photos, you know, you got that essay as well. So it's really cool just to flip through. You get some posters as well throughout that kind of thing. It's a nice booklet, just like the Dragons Forever one that I really liked. So lastly included in this, you have another double-sided poster, just like Dragons Forever, of one that I definitely would like to get framed. So I need to stop buying these 88 releases because I keep wanting to frame the posters that come with them. So this is the poster that comes with this one. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite of the two uh, as far as these posters on here go. Some really cool just variety of stuff that's on here. And then on this side, you got a lot of different pictures and stuff from throughout the movie. Again, it's a really cool one, uh, but I'm a little more particular to the one on this side. So it's really cool that they include posters in these sets. And like I said, uh, with the Dragons Forever one, you're, you're paying about $30 or so for these, but that's the same, if not in some cases cheaper than some other 4K releases that are just the movie with you know, maybe a Blu-ray and a digital copy, that kind of thing. So these sets are totally worth it. They got a lot of great stuff in there uh, for the fans. I had not seen this movie before, so it was a first time watch for me, and I absolutely loved it. So I highly recommend checking this one out and picking this set up. If you're a fan of classic Jackie Chan movies or Jackie Chan in general, and you've not seen the Police Story movies, they are staples of his filmography and movies that I highly recommend checking out. They have some of his best action and stunt work. And then it's really cool. You got some really neat releases, too. There's some, uh, I think Shout Select is putting out some volume collections of his movies. Then you got this Criterion for the first two, this new 88 Films release uh, for Super Cops. So great options out there as far as Jackie Chan movies go. So that is my unboxing for Police Story 3 Super Cop. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it maybe encouraged you to check it out or maybe pick it up for yourself. Thank you for checking out this video and for sticking around to the end. I will see you in the next one.